frozen on the outside, liquid beverage on the inside, very, very refreshing. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I got a very cool experiment for you today. You might remember a couple of weeks ago, I was hanging out in LA with my friend Logan Paul and we tried taking flat Dr. Pepper, putting it in a balloon and soaking it in liquid nitrogen and the effect was amazing. We ended up creating something that was kind of like an icy coconut that had a hard icy shell on the outside, but when you crack it open, it had a chilled beverage on the inside. So I thought for this video today, why don't we recreate that experiment, but using actual Coke? That way, we end up with a coconut. You see what I did there? Now one thing that Logan and I noticed when we were doing this experiment originally is that your soda needs to be flat. You need to get all the carbonation out of it, otherwise it builds pressure and builds weird little formations all over your balloon. So the first step in this experiment is to take our soda and shake it up. Quick update guys, our soda is absolutely flat. I poured it into a large pot, then I used a mixing beater to mix it around until all the bubbles were gone. Then I used a funnel to pour it back into the bottle, and this is what we've got. You can see if we shake it up now, hardly any reaction at all. This is about as flat as our soda can possibly get, which is great because now we can transfer it to our balloon. I think for this experiment, I'm going to use orange. Now this process is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna take the balloon, we're gonna just loop it over the mouth of the bottle, and we're gonna carefully turn it upside down and squeeze it until the balloon fills up to about the size of a coconut. Then we're just gonna disconnect the neck, tie it off, and slowly dunk it into the nitrogen. So this is where we get to start experimenting a little bit with how much time it takes to get the best results. How much time will it need to sit in the liquid nitrogen to make the perfect coconut? You can put your answers in the comments below. So I got my stopwatch ready, our liquid nitrogen is ready to go, so I'm just gonna hit start and make the dunk. So apparently too much nitrogen in there. I can't dunk it down all the way. And the balloon is like flapping against the sides because it's all trying to vape out. I think the balloon is actually freezing on the bottom and plugging off the top area. Look at that, it's going crazy. I think what's happening is the balloon is actually too wide. It's like trapped in the gas. And so then the gas is like coming out and the balloon's falling down and it's building up pressure and coming out and falling down and repeating. It's like the bottom of that's freezing, but I can't push it down far enough to get the rest. Look at that, if I push it down, the balloon just like expands. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so it's been a little bit over a minute. I think only the bottom of this is freezing. The top's not freezing at all because I think we made the balloon too big. So we're gonna have to do it again, but this time make the balloon a little bit smaller. So apparently you can actually squish the liquid around and kind of like reshape the balloon into the shape that you want to make it look a little bit nicer. So I think I'm gonna go with that shape there, a nice round bottom, a little bit at the top. That's good enough of a coconut for me. Let's make the dunk. Oh, that's sweet. And we have contact. I think I'm just gonna let that go. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out yet. <laughs> Update, our nitrogen's bubbling away. I'm gonna give this about 45 seconds and then pull it out. We're coming up in 25 seconds now because we just want that outer layer frozen. We want the inside as liquid as possible. So let's see how thick 45 seconds gets us. All right, there's 45 seconds there. Now the trick is to try and get this out. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I can already feel this isn't quite as solid as I want it to be. Like it's kind of chunky, but it's not quite frozen yet. So that's gonna need a little bit more time. Let's go in for another minute. Let's go ahead and fish that out. There we go, that's looking a little more frozen. By the way, this is very cold, but if I dance it around on my fingertips, I can actually hold on to it without it freezing. Now the balloon is actually frozen to the Coke right now, so I got a pan of warm water. We're just gonna dip that around, rotate the balloon a little bit, and then we should be able to slit the balloon and peel it right off. Yeah, that loosens the balloon up just enough that we should be able to cut it off. Not really the best knife to be doing that with. There we go. That's what we got, guys. And just give it one more bath, one more rinse in uh, warm water here. And there is our coconut. Huh, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? 
So you can definitely see the entire outside of this little ball has frozen solid. But just like a real coconut, this actually still has liquid inside. So if we were to chip away at the shell, we could stick in a straw and drink up the liquid inside. Now guys, I want to take just a second and give credit where credit's due. My friend Nighthawk and Light is the one who inspired this idea when he tried using dry ice and alcohol to achieve a very similar effect. I love that we did this with liquid nitrogen and I love that it comes out so clean and perfect. The liquid's 100% drinkable, the shell is 100% edible, and who wouldn't want a liquid nitrogen chilled soda? This is really cool. All right, so we've seen that about 45 seconds is not enough time. Two and a half minutes seems to be about perfect, but we broke it up into three different segments. For this third experiment, I'm gonna try two and a half minutes solid with one fresh red balloon. All right, here we go for two and a half minutes. Start. We're just gonna throw that right in and let it go crazy. Boom, there's two and a half minutes. Let's go ahead and take that out. Ooh, it's kind of frozen to the bottom there. Oh no, look at this. So the part that was actually touching the thermos didn't really freeze. It must have kept it insulated. Everything else looks great. So we're gonna have to put that down and freeze that a little bit there. Something to consider that I didn't realize. You know, that might actually work in our favor though because we might not actually have to drill a hole. Just remove the balloon and stick in the straw. Ooh, look at that. And of course this doesn't just work on Coke, you can use it on other sodas as well. Whoa! That accelerated quickly. Cool. Start. All right, there we have it guys. There's two and a half minutes. You can see even with the rotating, we did get a little deformity up here where it doesn't seem like it completely solidified. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and take the balloon off. This is actually so cold that the layer of water is freezing on the top as ice. So we go to pull the balloon off, all the ice breaks off. So check this out guys, we got our little ball of frozen soda here, and if you look straight on it, it actually does resemble a coconut. Those little chunks broke off on the bottom and give it the little coconut eyes. We flip it around, it looks just like the bottom of a coconut, and that was made from root beer. So theoretically, if we crack the shell of this, it'll be very similar to a coconut itself, where you can stick a straw down inside and drink up the chilled beverage. Let's go ahead and crack it open right here. Go ahead and chip away at the top right here and see what we got. Wow, that one goes pretty deep. Might have had that one in a little bit too long. Might work better with the straw and stick that down inside. That's good. I think I froze that one a little bit too long. That was like three minutes and you can see the shell is quite a bit thicker now. Look at that. It almost froze all the way through. So it looks like a really delicate balance here. So guys, this one I just let run for a minute and a half, which is substantially less time than we've done before, but uh, this time I suspended it in the middle of the nitrogen using a fork, so that way it didn't touch the walls at all. You can see there's still a small deformity here, but the rest of it feels pretty solid, so let's go ahead and open this one up and see how that turned out. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Beautiful. Look at that little deformity there, that's kind of funny. Just knocked that right off, sweet. So guys, check it out. This is the best one we've got so far. I made this out of root beer, and I think we figured out the secret sauce here. You put it in the balloon, and you suspend it into the thermos in the center without letting it touch the sides. Let it run for one minute and 30 seconds, and you end up with something that looks like this. The thing I love about this idea is you've got a nice chilled beverage that's gonna stay very, very cold, but it's not gonna dilute because it's the actual soda itself keeping it cold. Frozen on the outside, liquid beverage on the inside, very, very refreshing. And of course, if you prefer to have your soda fizzy, you can dump out the stuff already in there and pour yourself a fresh batch. All right, next up, Fanta. All right, orange just came out. This was one minute and 30 seconds exactly, which apparently for this one was a little bit premature. You can see most of the shell was frozen, but this little bit here on the end was not. Now this is still pretty cool because we can actually remove the top and it looks like a cracked coconut and you can literally drink out of it like a glass. But if you want this thing to be absolutely frozen, I think we're looking for somewhere between a minute and a half to two minutes. The orange is nice and the shell, completely edible. So there you have it guys, that's how to use some liquid nitrogen and some soda to make yourself an icy cold coconut beverage. 
which you can fully enjoy because it's technically food grade and you can eat the shell as well. Thanks so much for joining us for this experiment. We'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. So let's see what we got. Well, that just like literally exploded in my face. Look at this. <laughs> Apparently there was still some carbonation in there or something. We got some weird looking little blemish there. Oh, look, it's refillable as well. That's fancy. Oh, dang, wow, look at this. Okay, so this was unexpected. You just look down inside our liquid nitrogen container and look what has formed. It almost looks like the frost froze to the static electricity coming off of it. That looks crazy. Hey guys, I wanted to jump back in for just a second to invite you to come follow me on Instagram. I've got a very active page where I post daily pictures and stories of behind the scenes and every day is an adventure. Just take five seconds right now to click the link in the description to come follow me on Instagram at the King of Random. I'll see you there.